This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Matthews versus Peyton. Uh, you all have been dating for about two years, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And you all are from Cleveland, Ohio? Yes, sir. All right. And uh, Ms. Matthews, why have you come to Couples Court today? Well, Your Honor, I'm here today to see if my boyfriend of two and a half years is cheating with my sister. I'm sorry, with your sister? My little sister, correction. Mr. Payton, you're denying yes. that you have been intimate with her sister? Yes. Okay, you deny that? Yes. All right. Ms. Yeah. Matthews, why do you believe that he's involved with your sister? He's a cheater. He's a liar. I cheated um, one time, Your Honor. Okay. But there's lies, stories that's not matching up. A lot of things and that's lie. She taken me no to believe well, that he's cheating with her. She has no proof, but she's constantly accusing me of sleeping with her sister or trying to hit on other girls or... She's just very insecure. Why do you think that she thinks you've been with her sister? She's crazy. Her and her sister <laughs> okay. both are obsessed with me. When I hear obsessed, I'm thinking somebody who's just like, I gotta have him. Yes. Pretty much. She Talking wants my you? my Facebook page, following me around town, doing all types of stuff. I used to go around the family all the time when we first started dating, so... Um, I think it was Labor Day of last year, and I was over there. Her sister's making passes at me. She's asking me, oh, is my sister really your type? And she keep asking me stuff like this. And right after that is when she started accusing me, so. So did you rebuff? No. Did you tell her, I don't I... want you, I'm not interested in you? Yeah, definitely. I played it off because as a guy, I know when a woman is flirting with me. So, if you, you find out your time? sister is, in fact, involved with him... Yes, Your Honor. ...what will happen? There's a lot on the line. He has to go. He lived with me. He has to go immediately. And yes. what happens with you and your sister? I mean... I'm cutting her off, too. The relationship is over. <laughs> okay. So, this is serious. Very serious. Now, Mr. Payton, you believe she's just being paranoid, right? Definitely. Well, we well, know that the reason you're here is because you were a couple at one point and you were happy. <laughs> Yes, at one point, correct. All right. Can you yeah. tell me about the happy days so we'll, we can understand how you even got together? So, um, last sweetest day, he surprised me, you know, at my job with Edible Arrangement, Pink Roses, which is my favorite, Teddy Bears, just a lot of things. And we went on camping trips, like, okay. the year before that. We had an excellent time. Tell me about how you met her and what that looked like. Um, we met through a mutual friend. And our first date was, like, cross street to a park. It was in the area. We just kind of sat there and talked, got to know each other for a while. I was going through some stuff at the moment, so she was there. She was there to comfort me. Uh, we kind of nice. just went from there. The same park that he took the girl he cheated with me on. So, yeah. So but this is how you lost the trust, this and now you two believe... This was two weeks for us dating. We no. were talking for two weeks. Okay. When it happened with the other girl. I was dating yeah. the other girl first. And it was kind of ending. We were just having sex. How did you find out about the other girl? I heard him on the phone. In the bathroom. Oh, okay. Our, how our house is is the hallway. It's the bedroom. Then there's the bathroom. And he walked through the kitchen. I was in the kitchen. So the bathroom is not even, what, two steps away from the kitchen. And so what do you do? You hear him talking. Do you go over by the bathroom to listen? To see, yes. Yes, ear on, and what, on my tippy toes, yes. And what was he saying? What did you hear him saying? He was saying, baby, I miss you, and... That's I'm a lie. So, so I was on the Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to give you a chance going to respond. through this, and I just want us to work out, and I, I don't even want to be here for real. So this is sort of like the Usher song. Lo you know, I'm leaving the one I love to be with you, or whatever that or song was. Or Confessions. He was doing the confession. Oh, he was doing <laughs> Confessions. <laughs> that works, too. What else did he do to lose your trust? He will leave, stay out for two nights, three nights. I won't hear from him. He won't answer the phone. Okay. Is this true? You go and stay away two or three nights? Yes. Who are you okay. staying with? My mom or whoever. It's oh. just to get away from her. She's She she really gets under my skin. To get away skin. from me to cheat. Because you can't no. cheat while you with me, while you here. This is what she well, does every day, all day. She accuses me of cheating every day, all day. So I'm going to tell you what I did, and he doesn't even know. Okay. He was asleep. Now, his phone has, you know, the fingerprint. Right. And he sleeps, so, you know, I'll put his fingerprint up to the phone. <laughs> and I found butt pictures, naked pictures. And the other pictures, none of those were you. No, it was not. Okay, so he's asleep. I want to make sure I got this picture. He's asleep. You sleep. All right. 
and you just slip his hand over and do this. Yes. Man, you sleeping for real. Keep asleep. I, I, you couldn't move my body part and me not wake but up. His That's phone charges right next to him. This is his body. This is his phone. So it wasn't hard to put his finger over and press it on the thing. That's impressive. I, I'm, it, it, well, I'm blown away. That's, it that's was not impressive. <laughs> Mr. Payton, did you have butt pictures in your phone? No, I didn't, Your Honor. Okay, now, butt pictures are pretty much self-explanatory, so it's not something she would mistake for something else. Mind you, there were no undies on the butt. She's okay. delusional. She's very... Ms. Well, Matthews, did yeah. you bring any evidence of this? No, I did not. Of, co how, of course he's going to... All right, you, you, didn't, you don't have any of them with you? No, I don't have no pictures. Okay, because I was about to say, you weren't going to no. look at that anyway. Like, he took her to the store. The store is, like, three minutes from my house. They were gone for two hours. It was... I say, where have you guys been? They went to go get a pair of black pants. Your Honor, that's the I say, where are you? Very exactly. He say, oh, it we stopped to get something hours. to eat. It was so 20 I said, minutes. where's How the food? 20 minutes turn into two hours? Where's the food? There's no food. There's no receipts. Do you remember this particular trip she was talking about? Yes, where you I, were... I remember the trip. It was late at night. It was like 11.30. Her sister was walking alone. I volunteered to walk with her. We was gone for like 20 minutes. That's it. Your Honor, you can tell the tension. You can tell there's something wrong when we're all in the room together. I turn my head and they stay staring at each other. Like, basically, that's what they doing. It's just a lot, so... So, you're, so as a woman, you are feeling that yes, there's stuff going on. Yes, is never wrong. There's something in their body language is it's, it's sitting up player. They had to do kiss something. It, it, it's just so crazy. Okay. And another incident is when I was at work. I called you, I said, Dre, what are you doing? He said, I'm at home, getting dressed, about to get ready for work. I said, okay, well, you know, let me call Alicia because she was getting ready to take the kids to daycare for me. So Alicia's called, your sister, yes. right? Okay. Yes, Your Honor. So I called Alicia. I said, Alicia, what are like you know what you doing? What the kids doing? You getting them dressed? And then I throw in. So where's Dre? What he doing? Oh, Dre isn't here. He left about forty five minutes ago to head out for work. Remind you, the phone calls were not even three minutes apart. So she's at your house and They're he's both at, at your house. house. Yes. And she's telling you he's gone. Yes. And he's And there's no he, reason for her to tell you that. There's no reason. Why are you telling me he's gone? And he's she saying I'm there dressing. Talk. He's telling me I'm getting dressed and ready to go to work. Mr. Okay. Payne, what was going on? Nothing. I was leaving out when I told her I was. I don't... I, don't, you... I think her sister was lying to her. Do you deny having an affair with her sister? Yes, I deny it. Uh, do you deny having an affair with someone right now? Someone other than her sister? Yes. Okay, so you have not been involved with anyone other than Miss Matthews? Right. I heard him while he was in the bathroom. So you had to hear her on the phone with me. So you heard the conversation. Y'all both was just lying together, that's all. So don't make it seem like you wasn't at home when you really was. And you just stuttered and said, oh, I was gone, but how was you gone when you at the house? You wasn't gone, you was there. Um, I actually bought him two back tires and a battery for his car. All the right. The car that he's out cheating in. And I want my money back. All right. Because I found out he's cheating. Everything that he has in my house is going up in flames. So, let me make sure I got this straight. You bought him two tires and a battery, and a battery. for his car. Yes. Do you have any evidence of that? I have the receipt. All right. Ron, would you get that for us, please? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Your Honor. Thank you so much. So you spent three hundred and twenty two dollars and fifty cent. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And you don't think it's fair for him to ride around in a car that you paid money for while he's riding your sister? Right. Hello? Okay. Is that okay? Mr. Payton, did she buy these things for you? Yes, but it was with my credit card, so. Can you look at the what? bottom? Because where we live, they make you sign when you show a credit card. Well, it says it was paid with check number 0151 yes. for Neek Matthews. Okay, who else is that? Even if so, I take her anywhere she need to go, her and her kids, that's the least she can do. Okay, so you believe the least she can do is, is pay, for can tires, pay for the tires, pay for battery you because you drive car. her around. Rent free. We're gonna rule on this lawsuit on a moment. But we're gonna go back to the love suit. Yeah, we've got to get to the bottom of this love suit. We sure do. Now, you claim that he is sleeping with your sister. You yes, claim... That I'm not. ...that you're not. The court has tracked down Ms. Matthews' sister. Okay. Ron, would you please escort Ms. Yes, Matthews' sister Let's into the court? Let's go, Ron. <laughs>
We're gonna go up and have a seat right next to the judges up there on the right. Hello, how are you? You are Miss Alicia Simon, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, and you are the sister of Miss Fanique Matthews? Yes. All right. Are you and your sister pretty close? Absolutely, we've been close. You love your sister? Dearly. Do you think Mr. Payton is good for your sister? No. And why is that? Well, it's been many incidents that I've seen him crossing lines in their relationship. One time I was at a club, okay. in which I seen him at, dancing on a girl, or with a girl, she was grinding on him and everything. Another incident has been encountered with me. I was outside at the end of the parking lot, well, out of the driveway, and he came past and grabbed my butt. I was out there for a smoke. Your Honor, that's a lie. I was out there that's for a, a smoke, lie, seeing that we had kids in the backyard playing, so I did not want to be disrespectful to any of my younger family members. So, wait a minute. Let me make sure I heard you correctly. Okay. You're at a family gathering at yes. Labor Day, like a Labor Day picnic. Absolutely. And he comes by and grabs your butt? Yes, Your Honor. Not just a soft, you know, accidental grab. It was like a full-blown, intentional grab, Your Honor. Like a squeeze. That's okay, yes. Your Honor. At that I moment, straight, what did you do? I went straight to the back and told my sister, tried to inform my sister. You didn't knock him into the next week? No, we had kids okay. and it was around my family. I just... Just all about respect for me, Your Honor. Okay, so your sister says that you have been intimate with Mr. Pate. That's so, absolutely false. Right. So you have not had never, any... Ne all, never. All right. I have a question for you, Miss Matthew. Your sister says she told you on Labor Day. I'm just not hearing this. You have never heard this before, that he touched her on the butt? Or about the club? Neither one of these. Mr. Payton, were you at the club? Yes. Was there a woman dancing with you? No. Were you dancing at the no, club? No, I don't dance. I sit at the bar with my friends to have drinks. He don't look like a dancer. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> in order to get to the bottom of this, the court has engaged the services of licensed private investigator Todd Redding. Uh, Ron, would you please escort Mr. Redding into the courtroom? Yes, sir. Mr. Redding, how are you today? I'm fine, judges. How are you? Doing good, doing Thank good. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Redding, what type of investigative tools do you use to catch cheating spouses? Uh, I use a number of tools, GPS vehicle tracking, polygraph examination, cell phone forensics, and surveillance, of course. Well, in today's case, uh, Ms. Matthews is accusing her boyfriend of sleeping with her sister. You had Mr. Payton meet with a certified polygraph examiner, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Are you all ready for the results? I am. All right, Mr. Payton was asked if he ever had sexual intercourse with his girlfriend's sister, Alicia. What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the polygraph show? There was not a significant response to the question, which indicates there was no deception. Mr. Payton, how are you feeling? Pretty good. I already knew it. Miss Matthews? Just keep them coming. Come on. All right. Keep them coming. Mr. Payton was asked if he ever had sexual contact with his girlfriend's sister, Alicia. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. What was his response? His response, again, was no. What did the polygraph reveal? There was not a significant response to the question, which is an indication that there was no deception. So, to be clear, it showed that he was telling the truth. That's correct, Your Honor. Uh, I have one more question. Mr. Payton was asked if he ever made sexual advances to his girlfriend's sister, Alicia. Uh, what was his response to that question? Once again, his response was no. What did the polygraph show? The lie detector examination determined that he was being truthful. <laughs> so Ms. Matthews, you came to court to get some answers. You've gotten those answers. Yes. How do you feel? It's a, a monkey off my back. But what can you expect with a man who always cheated in the past? You should you're, feel you're, stupid. You're going to, you I don't feel, feel stupid. Very stupid. I don't okay. feel stupid. Because at the end of the day, you're still a cheater because you, you cheated in the past. So I don't feel... All right, well, hold on. Here's, here's the thing. You said he's a cheater. He cheated in the past. You used a key phrase in what you said, in the past. You need to leave it in the past. Do you love him? 
Yes, of course. Okay, then you need to stop acting like a crazy lady and trailing him around. <laughs> Miss Matthews, you came with a suit for the tires yes. and the battery. I'm going to give you an opportunity to dismiss your suit. Are you willing to do that? Before yes. we rule. All yes, right. Your Honor. As much as we enjoyed helping you solve your problem, resolve your differences, we don't want to see you back here in couples court. This is over. As soon as yeah. I get home, I'm packing my stuff. I don't want, ever want to talk to her again. <laughs> it's over. She's constantly accusing me of sleeping with her sister. I'm all the way done. No. Yep. He don't have nowhere to go. Mr. Payton, is that really what you want? You yes. want to be done? Yes. You all have been together for five years, and Miss Moore, allegations of cheating are just eating up your relationship. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Tell us why you brought your boyfriend to court today. Well, I brought Gerald here today because we have past history of him cheating. This man right here, he has took me through hell and back, Your Honor. My woman's intuition, my third eye, it works, it's strong, and it has never let me down within those five years. So... So you're saying that third eye, when it sees something, it's seeing something. Crystal clear. <laughs> I don't know what she's been seeing, Your Honor. I don't understand about this third eye. It's, uh, I know that women's intuition, but I know we was born with two eyes, and... Okay. I don't know about this third one. I'm still trying to figure that out, Yana. Mr. Anderson, I'm gonna help you and Mr. Color with this third eye thing. Okay. Because we have this discussion, too. <laughs> so, you know, women are born with a third eye. It's right here. <laughs> it's right here. I'm gonna show you where it is. It's right here. Is that invisible? Y'all don't... Yeah. <laughs> and y'all can't see it because y'all don't have a third eye. But see, I see her third eye. <laughs> it's looking at me, looking at you, looking at me. <laughs> I understand, I understand. And you know how your mama can see things in the back of her head? Yes, yes. When you get become a mama, you get one back there, too. <laughs> That's real talk right there. Despite her four-eye analysis, <laughs> you say you're not doing anything. No, sir, I'm not. You're not cheating. No, sir. I, I, I don't have any time. You got plenty of time. You have a lot of time, sir. Well, now, now here's the thing. I heard very clearly that there's a past. Yes, and that may be the source, the root, of some of this problem. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Tell me what happened in the past. So, I was working at a job, past tense, and, um, just that, that I, it was like, I got off at 10 o'clock, Your Honor, and so I go to Houston, I pop up like Jack in the Box up on him, like, I'm here, <laughs> ain't no heads up, so I bust through the door, Mr. Anderson's laying on the couch, he's startled, scared, like, what's going on? And as I'm packing up my stuff, I walk and I see, uh, lo and behold, a condom. Not just any condom. It was a used condom. So I go and I get Mr. Anderson. I'm like, hey, what's this? He's like, what is it? What do you mean, what is it? What does it look like? It's not a mint. It's not just trash. Uh -huh. It's something that you It's have. not a mint <laughs> Go ahead. You know? OK, so Mr. Anderson, here's uh, your moment. OK, well, I can explain the condom. Um, Yes, we had a break. So, in between that break, yeah, I, I have to admit, I got sloppy and really threw it. But, you know, I mean, Snoop Dogg Dog gonna find it regardless, you know, because she's gonna... I mean, she's behind... It's, it's, <laughs> look, it was not in plain sight. Ew! I was being... Thank it was, you. It was through okay. one of our breaks, so I was with her, so I was just trying... Time I, out. I'm, Time out. I'm talking as your mama. Nasty. Throw that away. No, I always do. I Plus always you do. do something. I always do. I'm I talking always as do. your mama. I do. And I don't know what I, that one... I'm ever... gonna give you credit for using it. <laughs> but Thank it's you. used. I understand. <laughs> All right. He says Snoop Dogg Dogg's gonna find it. But here's the thing. If it ain't no bone, it ain't nothing to find. I understand that. I understand so, if that. there's something, you know, yeah, so but... you can't bury it and then say it ain't there. Well, look, but here's the thing, though. It. They're on a break. So, if they're on a break and then she, just on a whim, just jumps in her car and drives 70 miles or however far it was to get to him and bust in the door on him, when, right. you, when you do it that way, you're gonna find can something I, you I, don't want to find. You, and you assume the fact not in evidence, Mr. Cutler. What fact did I assume that was not in evidence? Were you on a break? Not like that. He said mm -hmm. they want a break. That's she said they weren't because if they want a break, she would... Why is her clothes still there if she's on a break? Exactly. I'm gonna pack all my... and get... Okay. Exactly. Can, I, can I clear some? Exactly. Now, if you're on a break, you do that when it's done. When you're on a break, it's like, look, 
Yeah. We're going to cool How off for a while. How you know about break? <laughs> How you know about a break? The same what? way you know. <laughs> Man, the bottom line is you just can't roll up on somebody. Yeah, you can. You know, drop. And she did. And, and she, she called him. And she found what she found. That's what it looks like. Uh, okay, so, so that's all that's so because what, of your what? woman's intuition, right? That third eye. Four. That four, third eye. Four. Okay. Four. <laughs> but clearly, at some point, you like, I like him. I want him back. Because y'all here. Yes, we are. Okay, so <laughs> why'd you take him back? Okay, because this man, he does have good qualities. Truth okay. be told, I love this man. He is a sweetheart. This man knows my weight fluctuates. And I be trying to, you know, work it out, get my Beyonce on or whatnot. So, Mr. Anderson knows how I like to come home and I like to soak in a tub. I have my candles and I have my mood set. He can scramble some eggs like nobody's business. That's mm -hmm. all he can cook. So when I got out the tub <laughs> and I go in there and I get the eggs, those were the best. I mean, uh-uh-uh. Finger licking yeah. eggs <laughs> that I've had. They was like steak. So from that moment, we went to Happy Place, which is, you know, grown people's room. Yeah. And we never had no problem in that area at all whatsoever. I'm okay, not... wait a so minute. The, the... You took it back because he can make scrambled good eggs. eggs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There must be some <laughs> hellacious eggs. Hey, I learned so all that, all that work I did to get you, I could have just scrambled some eggs and I'd have been good? Well, I don't know. There got to be some bad you eggs. Gotta you gotta they got to put some be... extra special sauce in there. You know, that's oh, all. Okay. All right, now. All right. Well, I'm going to have to get the recipe for that. Just, just in you. case I, I get in the doghouse, I need to get back. I... Hey, it oh. helps you. All right, so the eggs are popping. <laughs> what else made you come back? Well, because our sex life is booming, like, three to four times a day. Even if we ain't together, it's like we having sex on the phone. Like, Wait, we... wait. did you say three to four times a day? Seven days a week. Okay, so... And when does he have time to fix eggs? <laughs> <laughs> That's the real question. All right, so you're back together, but that third eye is blinking. Blink, 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 blink. <laughs> All right, tell me about why it's blinking now. Okay, Your Honor, Super Bowl was in Houston recently. Right. Me and Mr. Anderson had went out the city. It's litty, litty, litty. Me and Mr. Anderson are super litty. So we're going to a bar, and we get it even more littier at the bar. So More littier, because that's <laughs> a new litty. one. Yeah. All right. So There's lit littier and yeah. more littier. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as we're about to leave, I'm like, hey, I'm going to drive because I know you've been drinking. So, I, you know, women, we have our driving shoes in the car because we're not driving with our heels on. So I go to the trunk, Your Honor, and Mr. Anderson has this toolbox, which I have here. Okay. He has this toolbox in the back of the trunk, and the trunk looks like on one side that it's been, you know, tampered with, pulled up or whatnot. So I get to digging in that box after I move this out the way, and I'm digging in this little bootleg hiding spot that he has, and lo and behold, I find condoms. Now, I do not find just any condoms or whatever. It's a six-pack of condoms, Your Honor. And at the end of the day, I'm grown, and we're all grown, and we all can count. And this has how many condoms, if you can see? Four. Four. So that means there's two misses, so he has two problems to be solving with me. <laughs> so I get back in the car, and I'm like, hey, what are these? Where are they coming from? Like, what's going on? He's looking like, where's Waldo? Where did you find him? I don't know. Like, uh, hey, can I explain something, what though? You mean? I'm saying. As Mr. Anderson gets out the car, I burn off on him. So, but I don't leave. You left you, him you driving left his in car. car. In my car. You in his Ooh, car. That's mad. That's that. You know I'm no, mad. That's... <laughs> you see that? You see? That's it's on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Do not encourage that. Yeah, it's something about you. Oh, no, car, do not off. encourage that. Uh, yeah. See, no. She knows. No, she knows. no that's, that's not cool. Her. That's not cool. Okay. I, I wouldn't left it like I that. I'm right back in five minutes. I just did a block. I came and got her. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Here's the thing. I'm not encouraging that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not encouraging, Mr. Cullen. But it sure was. I bet she felt real good when she pulled oh, it on. I like, did. Err. All right. right. So. All right, Mr. Anderson. I'm going to give you okay. a fair chance. All right. Tell me about why, in simple math, six minus two equals mm. four. Yes, of course. My friend asked me to borrow two of the condoms. Okay, here you go. I'm not gonna give him one. Who used one condom? Two, of course, oh. all the time. <laughs> any, man, any man say that. Any, any situation, you're gonna take two condoms, not gonna take one. I mean, it's the truth. What you want me to do? And I'm... so you're doing the math. Six minus two equals who you been with. Thank you. That's, that's where you're going with this. Very much. And it wasn't you? Not at all. All right. Well, that's one reason. 
What else you got? So, Mr. Anderson was gone, like, off to work or whatnot. So, when he returned back home, he had, like, you know, his bags and items and stuff. So, I'm being a good woman. I'm cleaning out my man's stuff, organizing and whatnot. So, when I'm cleaning it, there's a letter in the stuff. Now, this letter is addressed to one of Gerald's female friends. Okay. This letter, Your Honors, was confessing, oh, how much he feels about this woman, how much he loved her, how much he wished that they could get a chance to be together. Now, we're together, living together, and you're confessing your love to a woman when you got a woman? So, you already know I have an issue. All right, so you're a giver? And you a writer. <laughs> Tell me about the writer part. Yeah. Uh, well, me and her had got into it on the phone, you know, so we was, like, on a... Not real break, but we was not really talking to each other for a little while. So, you know, I got a little lonely, and I had wrote a letter to one of my friends. Never sent it, but it was on my mind. And I'm not, I'm the type of person, if something's on my mind, I like to write it down, I'm ready to get it off my mind. Had you ever been with her sexually? No. So you got all caught up in your feelings. Exactly, exactly. And your feelings got you all caught up with her. Exactly. So, Mr. Anderson, it's your testimony that you have not been unfaithful during the last year and a half that you all have been back together. Is yes, that sir. your testimony? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what you're telling this court? Yes, sir. And, and Ms. Moore, your woman's intuition is telling you that that's not true. Yes, Your Honor. Well, because you say that your, your woman's intuition keeps going off, uh, we have a friend of the court who is going to come and share her insights because she has a heightened woman's intuition just like you do. Okay. At this time, we'd like to call to the court singer-songwriter and reality TV star Tammy Rivera. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Rivera into the court? Now? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Rivera. Hi, Howie. Let me go through the witness stand up next to the judges. Hello, I guess. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Thank you for joining us today. No problem. Now, you have used your woman's intuition mm -hmm. to catch a cheater. <laughs> Is that a fair statement? Um, absolutely. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair statement. Tell us about that. Um, well, me and my husband, he's a superstar, he's a rapper, so I can say this, I've been through almost everything right. that a woman can go through, and I'm not ashamed to say that today because where we stand today is a testimony of what we've been through. But that woman intuition is 100% real. And as I can say to you, with all honesty, baby, don't wear yourself out. Keep searching for something. That gets tiring. You get old fast. You're too beautiful to keep looking and looking and looking. Thank you. Some things you just gotta let it be what it's gonna be and you're worth so much more. If you gotta look for it, then it's there. Mm -hmm. There it is. You're worth so much more than some scrambled eggs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Well, I think we have had enough testimony. And what we've heard today is the Super Bowl drive off because you found condoms in the back of the car, the love letter to a friend. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. He says he's not cheating, but you say if he is, you're done. I'm gone. Well, because of that, this court has conducted a full investigation to find out if he is cheating. <laughs> At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams to the court. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Williams in? Yes, Your Honor. It's you? good to see you. Good to see you, Good to sir. see you again. All right, so you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Anderson, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Would you share for the court record your credentials? I'm currently a certified polygraph examiner and private investigator. All right. You asked Mr. Anderson, in the past five years, have you had sexual intercourse with your female friend, the one he wrote the letter to? What was his response to that question? He said no. On this question, uh, there were no significant physiological responses, which indicated to me he was being truthful. <laughs> All right, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> the next good. question. <laughs> Mr. Anderson was asked, have you had sexual intercourse with any women 
other than Miss Moore within the last year and a half? What was his response? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that there was significant physiological responses to this question, which indicated to me he was being deceptive. Mm, mm, mm. That's why we're here. Mr. Anderson, the third eye. who is the woman that you had sexual intercourse with within the last year and a half? Um, it's really not about important, but this What? Happened. Wait a minute! This okay. I'm a man and I, I, did, I did mess up. Because as a man, it's hard because you have a lot of temptations. You know what I mean? I do get no, don't tempted. Don't, and... don't, don't drag us all in there. No, 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 no. Don't, don't not, drag us no. all don't, in don't, there. Don't, but... yeah, you, yes, you are. <laughs> you keep saying because you're a man, okay. because you're a man. You just have to say because yeah, I, I'm Gerald Anderson and I'm human. I'm human. I messed up. Okay. And I do apologize for After five years, it's a pattern. When does it end? It ain't ending yet, so it's not going to end. But I'm going to end it. You all have been together for seven years. You've got two kids together, but this beautiful relationship is in jeopardy of ending. Ms. Serta, tell me your story. Why are you here? I'm here, well, first of all, we have a secret. We have been married. We got mar secretly married in last December. Oh. None of our family or friends know, but this man still thinks he's single, and oh. I think he's cheating on me. She keeps accusing me every single day of cheating. It's a constant argument, cheating all the time. She thinks I'm cheating every Which day. Which she has. Um, I, have, I, I will admit, I have in my past, but ever since getting married, I, I have not. And I have said that to her multiple, multiple, and multiple times. He's lying. Every he day, cheating. it's the he same argument, the same thing. She doesn't believe you? No. At all. What kinds of things is she doing? She says that I keep my phone a secret because I'm which cheating. Which she does. He always which keeps I feel like I'm entitled to have my phone. I share 99.9% .9 of my life with her. I feel like I'm entitled to have that 0.1% that, that part of my life that I feel like I'm entitled to. And, and but oh, whenever to I try to have my well, phone locked, it's a big issue. Hold on. Here's the problem. If, she, if she's already suspicious of you, and then you keep this one piece where anybody and everybody can reach out to you. Do you understand why that would make her suspicious and think that, okay, why are you hiding this? But it's just, he said 99.9. .9. He's talking about 0.01%. He can't have that to himself? Okay, you know, well, color, some things are private. I mean... Uh, uh, but what? he's already admitted that he cheated in the past, and that has made her suspicious, and now he has a lock on the phone. Ms. Sutter, am I right? Yes. And tell me how you found out he cheated. I found out because one day he just texted me, he was out with his friends, and he texted me, and he admitted to me that he was cheating on me. I did it through text because me finding out she was pregnant and me being so young and still being in school, you know, I, I had a lot going through my head. I, I was not prepared, you know, to become a dad. I was, I was scared. But the thing is, I mean, text messages may not be the best way to do it, but you did it. Yes. And from that point forward, you're like, you said you haven't cheated anymore. I have not cheated. You've been faithful Ever to her. since she got pregnant, I have not cheated. I've been faithful. I have not lied. I have not done a single thing. But apparently there's some warning signs flashing. Yeah, he's... And I want you to tell me about those warning signs that you see. He's very secretive about his phone. He always has it locked. And whenever he doesn't have his phone with him, he starts freaking out about it. Like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? And... But don't we all do that? I mean, yeah. I know some people who, I mean, they can't go, like, five minutes without their phone. Oh, I mean, okay. I thought you were getting ready to talk about me, Mr. Keller. I'm not throwing any stones. I'm just speaking generally. So you there are lots of people who just can't be without their phone. We know people like that. Am I one of those people, Mr. Cutler? So what specifically did you find <laughs> in this phone? I, I see you not seeing me. Okay, we'll, we'll, right. we'll talk about that later. All right, all right. So, Ms. Serta, what specifically did you find in his phone? Uh, there was one day that he left his phone on the table, and it just so happened that I was walking by, and I heard that he had a notification. And it just so happens that it was a text message um, where you usually put the name of the person. It just had, like, a whole bunch of heart emojis. And I was like, okay, like, Your Honor, what is this? That, that and message... Hold on, hold on. And the text message said, I miss you, too. We can't wait to see you. Oh. 
But I was like, that is not a family member. That is not me. You actually submitted your recollection yes, I did. to court. Is that correct? Yes, I okay. did. So is that what you remember seeing? Yes. And this person wrote to him, I miss you too. Can't wait to see you. Yes. Mm-hmm. That Mr. Message. Reyes, who is the heart, 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 I miss you too? That's a family member. That message... You wouldn't talk to a family that member like that. That's kind of weird. That message is from a family member that I have not seen in years. Uh -huh. No. And we were just going to go true. out to dinner. No. But, Mr. Reyes, is, is there any reason you couldn't save the person's name? You couldn't save it as, you know, Mary or... Sally, or I was I was driving the day that I got the phone, so sure, the emoji yeah. keyboard yeah, was you, just on. You, so you could have changed it after, you know. And I, for, I forgot I forgot to switch it. <laughs> okay, Cutler, you got any the female relatives that you gonna have heart, smiley heart, 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 a hearty yeah. heart, heart? Are only, you gonna... only you? Only me? Only you? Uh huh. Yeah. I'm just but, checking. But, but, you know, his story is real slick. It's like, well, I just sent her that, so that was what was in the recently used category. That's and that's not it. He constantly wants to have sex with me every day, but I have two children, and it can be stressful because I take care of them all day, and sometimes I'm just tired, and he wants sex every single day, and sometimes I just want to rest. Okay, but, Ms. Erda, uh, <laughs> now, this, this may be a guy perspective, but I'm just going to ask you... <laughs> What's wrong with him desiring you? And why does that make you think he's cheating? Because he... when Sometimes when he's really mad, he will text me and say things to me that if I don't give him what I want, that that's why girls end up uh, getting cheated on. And he, he needs to understand that sometimes I just need a break. Like, I am a mom, and it's, it's very stressful sometimes, and I'm tired. When I get angry... Well I, I do know sometimes my temper can get out of control. Okay, Ms. Serta, you have submitted those to the court, yes. is that right? Yes. All right, let's take a look at those. This is a text exchange between you and your husband, and Mr. Reyes wrote, and you went to the room and nothing. We have sex at the most maybe sometimes twice a month, but not any more than that. It's getting old, and I'm pretty damn tired of it. Like I said, it's you type of stupid blank girls that end up getting cheated on. Oh. And then it goes on. And like I said, do not be surprised the day you get cheated on. Oh. And you responded, I won't be surprised. It'll be nothing new. Because yeah. you're like, He's been done there, done that. Yeah. So you're threatening your wife, look, if I don't get it from you, I'm going to get it from yeah. somewhere else. That's basically what you're telling her, isn't it? We've been married for four or five months. We should be having sex all the time. We have sex <laughs> twice a month, on a good month. Well, Mr. I, Kyler, I'm going to let you talk to him. I'm going to let you talk to him, because... Well, I can't say I disagree with him. I mean, there's a thing about newlyweds and, you know... I mean, look, if not at their age, when? I mean, really. Uh, Kyler, two babies. Two! I understand that, but that's not the issue. The issue is, you threaten your wife that, look, if you don't you know, come to me more frequently, then I'm going out and cheating. And now yeah. she suspects that you have done that. Because and that is the problem. Because sometimes so, that's what it takes. Well, but look where it's gotten you. Yeah. Look where it's gotten you. She now thinks you're cheating because you threatened to do it. So, Ms. Serta, why do you think he's cheating? He just recently started going out on drives. And it's usually for two hours. And before he even leaves on a drive, he takes a shower, he does his hair, and he puts cologne on. I'm like, okay, if you're going to go drive and you're going to go be by yourself, why would you need to shower and put on a lot of cologne, you know? And so you think he's getting pretty and getting yeah. fancy for yes. somebody else. Yes. I just need a break. There's times where I can't take it anymore and I need a break. So my way of removing myself from the situation so I don't start to argue with her and so my kids don't see us argue, I leave. Yeah, but you don't I need to get ready drive. to go out on a drive. I, I feel so Mr. like if but Mr. I Rez, I get that. I understand that. But are you going for a ride or are you going out to no. give somebody else a ride? No. <laughs> I'm going out for a ride. For a ride. So, have you found anything else that would make you or support your suspicion yes. that he's cheating? Yes. Tell um, me about that. One time, he had lost his ID, and he asked me if I could go into his car to go get it. And me being a good wife, I went to his car and looked for it. Uh-huh. And I was looking through it, and it just so happened that I found a condom. And I was very, very mad 
because we never use condoms. We have never used condoms, even before we had kids, after kids, up until now, we don't use condoms. So I was like, this is not ours, so who could it be? Who are you using this condom with? I have no idea what she's talking about. Oh. I have never seen the condom. There's no reason why I would have it there. It's your car. It's so, Ms. Serdit, we need evidence. Did you bring that condom to court? No, today? I don't have it, but I have these. I also found these. These are earrings. Oh. Okay. I Ron, could you grab those for us, please? Yes, Sean. And so, where did you find these earrings? Uh, it was a different day. He asked me to go get some papers in his car. Your Honor, so th th these, these are definitely earrings. ladies' I earrings. Do these not are know not whose mine. earrings those are. I believe they are a family member's earrings. No. My car no. is a family car. Multiple people are in my car every single day. But I have not never just me. seen any. Someone could have taken off their earrings, left them in the cup no, holder. No, I mean, this is this is clearly a woman's that. earring. I mean, if I yeah, I mean that. No, that doesn't that's go. not your look. That's not, no, that doesn't go. This is a woman's earring. So have you asked the family members, are these your earrings? Yes, and they've said no. Whose earrings are these? Your, uh, family members, I don't know. I let multiple family but members But she's already drive said that family members... Well, she probably didn't ask all of them. So how... <sighs> you know what? Here's the deal. We wanted to talk to an expert who's been in your shoes. She's the MTV reality star of Teen Mom 3 founder of Body by Mac, and she's going to share her experiences of being a young wife with young kids and a young husband. We're bringing in Mackenzie McKee. Ron, would you escort her in, Yes, Sean. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm good. Good, it's good to have you here. Good to see you. Could you share with them your struggles and your relationship um, when you were a young couple starting out? Yes. Um, I met my boyfriend. We were 15 and 16, and we were babies, wow. thinking we knew what love was when we had no clue. And we got pregnant really quick and had our son. And within a year, we had both cheated on each other. And making it through that was hard. As a young couple, how did you get past those issues? We actually had a shotgun wedding like you guys. We got married behind everyone's backs and we got married not forgiving each other yet. And so what we had to do was we took a you know solid three months without talking to each other to work on ourselves. You have to love yourself and you have to work on yourself. <laughs> and if it's meant to be, you're gonna find your way back to each other but you have to come clean. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Yes. I'm glad we brought you here. I'm glad you were able to give some information to our couples that uh, they can use. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ron, we just brought it back out to you. <laughs> well, you just heard Ms. McKee say the key to this is for everybody to come clean. Once you come clean, you can start fresh and move forward. So, with that advice, is there anything that you need to come clean about in your relationship with Ms. Serta? Nothing. You've come clean about everything you I've need to come told clean her about. Everything I've ever done. All right, Color, he said it. It's time to gain additional clarity. This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call licensed and certified polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to determine is he cheating? <laughs> Would you, for the court record, state your credentials? I have 30 years experience in the United States military and as a police officer. I've been a poly polygraph examiner for 11 years and conducted nearly 3,000 examinations. You asked Mr. Reyes, are you spending romantic time with anyone other than Ms. Serter while out on your long drive getaways? What was Mr. Reyes' response? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. I see you concentrating. Do you feel a little better, Ms. Serta? Yes, a little bit. Okay. You asked Mr. Reyes, since August 2015, 
Have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than Ms. Serta? What was his response to that question? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. I actually... Mr. West, I asked you. We had Ms. McKee here telling you that the key to all this was to come clean. And I gave you a chance. And now we found out that you've been deceptive. What have you done? I had sex with somebody else. Um, ever since we got married, I took those vows seriously. Um, the day we got married, that's the day that I told myself that I was going to change. I was going to finally grow up and be the man you wanted me to be and the father you wanted me to be. And since the day that we got married, I have not done anything. I will never do anything. I have been 100% completely honest with you ever since the day we got married and... Mr. Reyes, enough. Enough. Does she have stupid written on her face? No. Do I have stupid written on my face? No. What? You are lucky. I don't bounce you right up out of here. That's crazy if you think she's just gonna go, okay. Miss Sir, I'm looking at you and it's I'm probably so sorry. all you can do to hold it together. I'm just watching your face and, you know, it's gotta be devastating for you. How do you feel in this moment? I feel hurt. Tell him how you feel. I feel hurt. I really love you, and I just never thought you would do something like that to me. We have kids together. And I thought you would respect me as your wife and as the mother of your kids, and you would never do that to me. I'm really hurt. Tell him what you want. I don't want to be with you. I want to file for a divorce. I've had enough. You all have been married for seven years and your anniversary is coming up. Is that right? That's right. right. Now, in your court papers, it was indicated that there was some infidelity in the beginning of your marriage, but you all worked past that. But, Ms. Bearden, you brought this case because you think that there's something going on now. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, tell us what happened in the past. I received a phone call from my family member. And she told me, did you know that Jerome was in Las Vegas? And I said, no. And she said, well, he's been out there for three days. So, immediately, I'm calling his phone. He's not picking up. I keep calling, text messages, text message. Three days go by. Then he finally calls. He tells me that basically he went to Las Vegas with my family member's boyfriend. They just had fun, whatever. Okay, so I brushed it off. We moved into our place, and two weeks after, I noticed strange things happening. Phone calls in the middle of the night, text messages, going in the bathroom to use the phone, right? And this is early in your marriage? This is three months. <laughs> three months in your marriage three and months. you finding all this? Yes. Ain't okay. no finding. He's doing. Ooh. He's doing. So, of course, I'm an investigator. <laughs> I need to know. So, he go get drunk a little bit. Perfect time to look at the phone. And I'm seeing text messages. Hey, baby, how are you? So I addressed him. I said, what's going on? He said, oh, it's nobody. It's nobody. What do you mean, nobody? You ain't gonna be talking to nobody, talking about, hey, baby. So a couple months go by. I get a ring at the doorbell. I go to the door. He come follow behind me, come down the stairs, <laughs> right? Well, what you doing coming down the stairs? I got this. So I go to the door. It's a sonogram on the door. Somebody taped a pen and sonogram no, no, on the she door? Did. She, ta she taped it on the door, right. And this is, again, early in your marriage. Yes, ma'am. All oh. right, so, uh, Mr. Bearden? Yes, ma'am. Is this story that's being told the story that happened? It, it, when it happened, it happened like that, but it wasn't like that, though. So, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, it was like a friend, friend with benefits kind of like thing, and I 
actually didn't expect it to go kind of farther than what it did. And I don't even think that sonogram was for me anyways. Who was it That was like, that was supposed to have been anybody's baby or something like that. I mean, come on now, at the end of the day, how you can tell off a sonogram that that's actually my child? Like, she could have probably already been pregnant at the end of the day, so. You was with her, right? I don't believe that was my my baby anyway. Okay, but let's cut to the chase. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your baby or not, we not here to decide that. Right. What I do want to confirm is, you had a friend with benefits within three months of your marriage. It was something that I was getting out of her that obviously I wasn't getting from her. So oh, that's the only reason why. What was it? I mean... Yeah. Well, I'm almost scared to ask what was she doing that right. your wife wasn't doing. Because I can bounce that thing, too. Uh... Okay, yeah. It's true. If that's you don't true. ask, you don't get. Right. That's true. So, obviously, what happened in Vegas didn't stay in Vegas. It didn't Show stay didn't. in Vegas. Show did it, And it was so bad the way it happened because, I mean, I got basically told on, so mm -hmm. I, it would have stayed in Vegas, but... Are you mad because of what you did or you got mad... Because I got caught. Because you got, got caught. caught. <laughs> <laughs> mad because I got caught. I mean, it, this is what probably, you know, got my marriage the way it is right now. Mm -hmm. So... That was early in your marriage. Mm -hmm. so, we're seven years down the road, so you stayed. I oh, need yeah. to know what made you stay, because there have been a lot of folks that have been like, deuces. No. Right. Because he was... He's my superhero. All right. Oh. All right. He's the one that took me out of the relationship that I was before. He took me and my kids in. He didn't even know me. He's that guy that women dream about all the time. I want that guy. Mr. Bearden, what was it about her that you liked? You know, when I first met her, I knew she was like a shooting star to me. Um... Wow. I mean, it's just... It's crazy. I mean, we're, we're compatible. I mean, when I first seen her walking towards me, it was like poetry in motion. I already knew right then and there. And you can just Thank see it in our pictures. It's, it's love there for, like, a long, everlasting... That's, that's my heart. A perfect woman. So, you all got through it because she's perfect for you and he's your superhero. Yes, ma'am. Did he vow to you he wasn't going to ever do this again? Yes, ma'am. He said that from this point on... It's gonna be no more. No more cheating, no more talking to women, no more. And you mean that today? Yes, ma'am. And you took him back because of that? Yes, sir. What are you here to do in light of that vow and in light of this past? I'm trying to, like she said, rebuild my marriage that's from going through construction right now, so I can't be without her. So I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And Ms. Bearder, but you're here today mm -hmm. because you think he's broke that second vow to you. Yes, ma'am. Why do you specifically believe he's cheating? Okay, so I noticed changes in the marriage again. So, as I noticed the changes, I noticed that he wasn't... He'll keep his phone on him. He wouldn't sit it down. So, of course, it was a party that we were doing. He got drunk again. And when I investigated, um, I seen text messages. And it wasn't just normal text messages. What'd they say? They were saying... He was saying he wants to have sex with her. But she wanted a relationship. Mr. Oh. Bearden, okay. Did you text another woman to say, I want to have sex with you? No. She found these texts in your phone. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. That's, same, okay. That's that. the same thing I got. If okay. you don't remember, it doesn't mean it didn't happen. I don't remember that. He remember. Uh, he remember, because be I honest, remember. I don't remember or recall that happening at all, right. all. You made a vow to your wife after you got caught, said it would never happen again, and now she's saying she found texts in your phone indicating that it happened again. Yeah, yeah it happened. It did happen again? So you did send a text to a woman saying, I want to have sex with you. Yes, ma'am. It wasn't going to be nobody that nothing meant all of it, though, but um, it was just a conversation. Okay, why would you just have a conversation about wanting to have sex with I another mean, woman? I'm human, being stupid. Did you tell her at the time, yeah, that's me, I did it, I was wrong, or are you just now telling her that today? Just now. How are you feeling? I see the tears in your eyes. Mm. Talk to me. It's an ongoing thing. If I'm the person that you dreamed of, why is we... Why are we going through this? I don't cheat on you. I don't talk... If I do talk to a dude, it's a friend that I know from years ago, before you. So why are we going through this? I mean, when you don't have, like, conversation in your household, it's hard, you know, to kind of move on with what you're trying to do. And, like, that's what really happened. The fact that I wasn't getting no conversation, no nothing, it was because of the last time. So we've been going this whole time just, like, buddy-buddies and stuff like that instead of, like, really no, being together buddy, buddy. as a marriage. So what okay. am I supposed to do? And, and, 
and we get the importance of conversation. Right. Communication right. is essential. That's the, key. That's the only way we survived all these years of because course. the communication may not always be pleasant. Right. Mm. But it's communication, and as right. long as you're communicating, that's what, that helps. Yeah. I mean, that's that's one of the secrets of our relationship. So, Miss Bearden, you had to have been hurt when you saw those text messages. Yes, ma'am. Did you try to find the woman? I did. I talked to her. Yeah. What did she say? I spoke to her. Hey. I said, do you know that he's married and he has five kids? No, four oh. at the time. She said, no, I did not know that. Did you ask her had they had sex? I asked her, she said, no. I don't believe that. I mean, a woman can say anything, just what she wants. She can tell, I'm, I'm the wife. She's the other woman. She can tell me whatever. All right, and so, Mr. Bearden, she confronts you with this conversation that she's had with this other woman hmm. who you've texted to say, I want to have sex with you. What do you tell your wife in response to that? It was an accident. They're basically... You said it was an accident. It was an accident. You accidentally texted <laughs> another woman that you want to have sex with her. I mean, it sounds bad and it make me look definitely better and worse by saying it, but yes, I was about to go out elsewhere and find what I didn't get at, wasn't getting at home. But you... you're saying you didn't do it? No. Have you found any or do you have any physical evidence yes. that Mr. Bidden is cheating? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, tell me about that. So, with the same woman, I'm assuming... For Mother's Day, he had bought me some food arrangements. Okay. Okay. And so, that was delivered to the house. So, like a month after that, I got my bank statement. I see food arrangements twice with two different prices. Okay. Okay. So, me being an investigator, <laughs> I called food arrangements. And I talked to a nice young lady, and she described my wonderful husband to me. She said he was nice, he was sweet and funny. I said, well, I want to know if, it's, if you can tell me what was bought. She said, sure. So I gave her the information, and she told me the first item was a fruit arrangement for $80. And it was delivered. So I said, okay, that's mine. It's okay. And so she said, the second one was picked up. And it was with chocolate-covered strawberries, 12. Whoa. So somebody deserved 12 chocolate-covered strawberries? <laughs> Cause I, I, I presume get, you did not get those 12. I ain't 12. get no strawberries. His mama didn't get no strawberries either. Mr. Bearden, but... where did the strawberries land? Mm -hmm. It accidentally got swiped twice. That's the only thing that happened. And I mean, it didn't go to nobody else. Okay, okay Mr. Bearden. Bearden, all right, wait, hold on. All right. Swipe twice. Did you send a fruit arrangement to your wife? Yes. Did you send a second fruit arrangement to your wife? Yes. You sent her two? Twice. She, no, did you send her two fruit arrangements? No, I didn't. So you only sent one to your wife? Yes, sir. All right, did you, did you order chocolate-covered strawberries? Yes. Okay, did you send those to your wife? No. No. Who did you send those to? The other girl. The other girl. Oh. And this is the first time you're hearing it. Yes, this is. Okay, so it wasn't a swipe twice situation. No. I, I, I'm not liking what I'm hearing, but I am appreciating that you're being truthful. This is the place to come clean, so I can live with that. But she can't live with you and another woman. And she can't live with this uncertainty. And she shouldn't have to. You're right. So the court has called a friend of the court. Wow. <laughs> Miss Tammy Roman, who appears on the TV show Basketball Wives LA mm. and is the author of a book, Mistress 101. Ron, would you escort Miss Roman in? Yes, Your Honor. How are you? How are you? It's good to see you. Same so here. good to see Happy you. Happy to be here. You have dealt with, written about... Yes. ...infidelity. Mm. Tell them about it. Would you share with Miss Bearden what you know about that and how to deal with it? First thing I want to say to you is I am heated. Because <laughs> let me tell you what I see. A beautiful, intelligent, dynamic woman who does not recognize her worth and her value. <laughs> Listening to. Okay? I've been you. I've been that woman who sat home, who tried to be a good wife, who tried to be positive, who tried to uplift my man. Mm -hmm. And what was he doing? He was out with every chick in every city that he visited. I've been on the phone. I've talked to the young lady. Please leave my husband alone. Mm -hmm. I will. Mm -hmm. Two kids later. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I'm gonna challenge you. Okay? She said that you fell in love with her children first. Mm -hmm. 
Don't you know those kids are looking up to you? Yes. Don't you know those kids need you to be a representative and be the king that you're supposed to be? And how you treating their mother is unacceptable. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Now, that's real talk. That's, that's real. real talk for you. That's and you keep saying, well, I made a mistake. Mistake is one time. Mm -hmm. Now you're giving her behavior, consistent behavior mm -hmm. in this relationship. The longer you keep using, well, there's lack of communication, the longer you keep making excuses for why you're having this behavior, then that means you really don't want to be in that situation. All right, Mr. Bearden, you're I... almost tearing up. I can see it. Because it's crazy. I'm really, like, feeling like the bad person in this. And it's like, you know, I, I always hear the saying, once a cheater, there's always a cheater and stuff like that, but... Excuse me one second. You missed what I said at the top which was, I need you to be a king True. and show her a different type of behavior. Right. Because repeating the same things means you're not changing. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't say a cheater was always going to be a cheater, but I'm saying prove that. Don't right. talk about it, be about it. Right. There you go. Okay. Mr. Oh. Bearden, we've talked about the importance of honesty, and I'm, I'm not getting the sense that you are being completely honest with us. This woman that you were texting, the woman you set a fruit arrangement to, have you been intimate with that woman? This woman that you were texting, the woman you set a fruit arrangement to, have you been intimate with that woman? Yes. You have. It was, like, crazy. Like, a couple times. It shouldn't have happened. But, I mean, that's why I'm here trying to tell her the truth, so I can try to get this all uh, over with. I mean, it was... Oh, my God, I can't believe, you know, it happened, but it happened. When was the last time you were with this woman? Intimately. <sighs> like, a, like a week ago? A couple weeks ago? Ms. Bidden, you're crying. I can see the tears coming down your face. I feel hurt. I feel... I feel used. I mean, I love my husband. I'm in love with my husband. He's my number one hero. <laughs> so I'm not gonna divorce him. I don't believe in divorce. Mr. Bearden, I commend you for being here. I also commend you for telling a hard truth, because it's... it's gotta be embarrassing to you. But here's the deal. You keep putting yourself in situations where it's gonna lead to infidelity. You can't flirt and have conversations and text messages with these women and wink, wink at them and think it's not gonna lead to something bad. Right. I love this man. Mm -hmm. Love is strong but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. right. You gotta do something with that love. You, right. I mean, you gotta do something with right. it. Talk is cheap. Right. You gotta put yourself in it all the way in. And what I would say to you is if you spend all your time working on loving her, you ain't gonna have the energy or the time to fool with these other women. <laughs> You all have been in a long-term relationship and you're engaged, but your wedding plans are on hold because of allegations of infidelity. Mr. Yeah. Condelaria, tell me why this case has been open. Okay, Your Honor. Um, like you said, we've been together for uh, three and a half years, and I love this woman. Uh, she's the mother of my children, but I cannot be with her if she is, doesn't pass this lie detector test today. Okay. Uh, I'm not cheating on you. She has been deceptive to me in, a, in the past um, for a long But that was in the long past. Time. I mean... This... I mean, I'm not doing it now. She's always on her phone, and then when I come home, I don't she never, never stay on my phone. She never has anything on her phone. It's all been deleted, you know? I don't delete it if I, I can't... I if see I can't where, keep it on it. I see where she's been calling her ex-boyfriend, and then... I come home, see where she's been calling him, and ask her what, what's up with that, you know? She's, that was a oh, mistake. Was an accident, I, didn't, I did not mean to call him. Huh? only happened, like, you know, once, not, you know, twice, every day, you know, type if thing. If I was talking and to when, him, I would have deleted and it. I, and when I see her ex-boyfriend, he tells me she's, he's been trying, she's been trying to hook up with him. So you've got all these 
all these things going on, and you're like, okay, I know she's cheating. This has been thrown yes, in your face. Right. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel terrible, and I don't want to be with somebody who is deceptive and can't, I'm not can't be honest you, with what? me. I mean, honesty is the key to any relationship. So, I mean... That's why we're here, to find out if she can be honest with me. I mean... I have been honest with I've you. had all these uh, these problems in the past with her about, I think she's lying to me and everything, and it looks really deceptive. All right, Miss Blakely, uh, you have been vehemently, the whole time he's been talking, saying, it's not me, I'm not doing it. If I want to be with yeah. somebody else, I, I, mean, do I mean, Tell why me why I, you're here. I'm here to prove to him that... Um, I'm not cheating on him, that I love him. And, I mean, we got two kids together. I mean, why would I mess that up? Mr. Candelaria, is is this just paranoia or has she cheated on you in the past? Yes, Your Honor. She's cheated on me in the past. When we first got together... But I told you about her, it. I had to leave for about a month Hold on, Miss Blakely. When I come back... You were um, treating me like crap. You know, really? She Hold on, Miss Blakely. She's all right, denies everything. And for two and a half years, she doesn't... She doesn't tell me the truth about this until after we have a child together that she cheated on me. Two and a half years later. Two and a half years and later. And a baby's in there somewhere. And, yeah, and, and our, our child's six months old now. You oh, know. my goodness. And two, two and a half years. Two Can and a you half imagine years. wondering? You, and you've been asking her, did yeah. something happen? Right. So he's asking her. And she's denying. And she's denying, denying and denying. And then he goes away and he's contacting her and she tells you, by the way... And she tells me... This is how she tells me. We have a fight, and I leave, and she leaves, and then she contacts me on Facebook and says, oh, by the way, you know, uh, back two and a half years ago, while you was No, you asked you was away, me that. Uh, I messed around with this guy, and, but it was only two mm. times. And that's how she told that's you. That's how I found out. That's how oh, you tell him. Via he went, let me Facebook him two and a half years later. He wouldn't let me years. tell him in person. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't understand it. I, I can't get my arms around the notion of waiting two and a half years. And then, and then when you decide to do it, just, you know, I mean, you text, yeah. you know, you yeah. text, hey, pick me up some bananas at the at the grocery store. You you text, hey, don't forget my dry cleaning. You don't text, by the way, I didn't want that to thing tell him two in years ago. Oh, and by the way, it was only two times. Only two times, okay. It was only two times. So don't. I I don't know, Miss Blake. That's rough. It is rough. And this so, is why. The, and this probably is the foundation of why. Right. You have that no trust it. because that you saw all, all those warning signs back at the time, and she denied it, right. and denied it, and denied it, and then it turned out to be true. And now you're seeing all those same warning signs again. I bet. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. I've seen them several times. All right. Tell us what you're seeing now that makes you believe she's cheating. Okay. So we're at a we're at a, a friend's house, right? And it's kind of a party going on there that night, and and she she decides to go upstairs with her friend, female friend. Because you were treating and, me like crap. Okay, well, three hours later, she comes back downstairs. Well, uh, come to find out, there was another dude up there in another room, supposedly. I was not well, messing around with him. I was up there with my back friend. Downstairs, her whole demeanor done changed, right? So she ain't act the same way as she went up, as she was. Like she's trying to hide something, right? So I check. I say, okay, all right, you ain't, you ain't been doing nothing. Prove it to me. I take her in another room and tell her to show me her panties. Well, she pulls her panties down, and it looks like she's been having sex the whole time. I right. mean, really? I was... Okay, so you were at, really? you're at somebody's... At a, at a friend's house yes. for a party. She goes upstairs for three hours, mm -hmm. disappears mm -hmm. for three hours, mm -hmm. comes back downstairs, yes, and her whole demeanor has changed. Mm-hmm. And then he said, I'm gonna let you I want to see yeah. your panties. <laughs> that does not but, mean I was messing around on you, you up there. when you saw her panties, it appeared, and I can only, and I, I hate to say this, I hate to say it. You got a visual in your head, I know. I got a visual. I'm going to need a long drink of water after okay. this. It's, it's burned into my head. <laughs> Why did he come up there and check up on me if he thought I was sleeping around? I mean, really? I, 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 because I, I can I, tell you, if I thought you were sleeping around, my butt be up there within before three Ms. hours. Ms. Blakely, your point is well taken. Right. Mr. Candelari, why did right. you go and stop because what you because thought I was, was going on? Hold on, let him answer. I was testing her because I was going to say oh, what whatever. she... whatever. What? I was whatever. just planning on, waiting on her 
to come down and then, to, and then checking her, you know? Whatever. I mean, okay, Mr. Collar, would you let me disappear from a party for three hours? Let me just Supposedly find out. Supposedly, she Not if I friend. suspected you were cheating. I mean, we go to a party, we aren't like this at the party the whole time, moving around the room like that. I mean, we kind of work the room. You, yeah, you know, but talk to I people, mean, I've never talk to been people. to a party and been away from you for three hours. I might... 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 20. Right. The three hours yeah. is the party. At some point, I'm like, where is she? So I kind of look around, and I might see you. You've got a, people, a group of people you're talking to, and, okay, she's fine. I'm going about my business. So, yeah, I'm not sure it's been three hours. And if I suspected she was cheating, I wouldn't wait three hours. I'd be like, oh, wait, where is she? You know, right. if I had that suspicion. That's because he was guilty of doing something, whatever you were doing, and you wanted to accuse me of sleeping alone. around. Not doing nothing. Whatever. Knowing that she's just supposed to be up there talking to her friend. So what, okay. is there anything else that you've seen that makes you think yes. she's cheating Yes, now? Your Honor. Yes. There was time and time again that I kept finding these weird bruises on her inner thighs. All right? So we're getting intimate one night, and I brought a display. Can I just show you? Yes, okay. sir. This if is your this display? Uh-huh. Right. Please what step I saw, over. Um, all right. So we're getting intimate one night, and... All right, we go to do this one certain sexual position that we don't, I, we, I don't believe we've ever done before. And I go and put my hands in, on her thighs, and lo and behold, my fingertips line up with each and every one of these bruises that are on well, her thighs. Well, then that means thighs. it was your, your hand I've right? never done that You've never done position that position before. So you... Right? Rough. I mean, come on now. It dawns on me that she's been having sex with somebody and they're leaving these bruises on her. How are you sure that those aren't your right. fingerprints? I mean, I, mean if the... I know because I've been asking her about these fingerprints and we weren't having sex that certain way. It had to be in that same certain position and we hadn't had been I having sex. I have a sex. bruise on me right now and that he forgot that he even done it. So you sure those aren't your fingerprints? I'm because positive. His, I'm positive his, my thinking points. is if the fingerprints fit, you must have quit, right? right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, that on. makes sense. I mean, he forgot they about this my bruise. At all. I, I mean, I, I never you, left no bruises on but her. You, but I have a bruise now, and you don't even know what happened right there. Really? Uh, oh, so. What makes you think I will let somebody else put a bruise on me? I don't know. I well, think she was kind of doing it out of spot or something. I don't know. So, so here's cheating. my question. Because everybody wants to know. Who taught whom this position? <laughs> Me. Then oh, you... Then yeah. Yeah. I think it was her. Him. I think it was her. Because here's the deal. Me. If she taught you and said, hey, grab me here, do this, do that, right. hold on, right. then somebody probably taught her. Yeah. Right. But if exactly. you were like, okay, let me grab you this way and put you no, this way... No, mm -hmm. See, that, that was... I don't know how we got worked into that position. Him? But... I mean, yeah. really? Wait a minute. The good ones <laughs> don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we never done that position before at all whatsoever. So, Ms. Right. Blakely, you don't deny that the bruises were there. You're just saying no, he put Honor, them there. No, Your Honor, I don't. But I just know it wasn't from having sex by another guy. All right. Okay, I think we've heard enough testimony. Yeah. And a doozy <laughs> it's been, Mr. Cutler. Yes, it has. Here's what we're looking at. Mr. Candelaria found fingerprints on her thighs that he says he didn't put there from the sexual position. Uh -huh. uh, she disappeared for three hours while at a party. Upstairs, he couldn't find, didn't know where she was. And there was another man up there, and he believes that she was with that other man. Um, he's found her on dating apps, and she secreted with her phone. All right. Well, because there were questions regarding Ms. Blakely's activities on the phone, the court would like to call digital forensic consultant Patrick Seward, who has done a full investigation to determine, is she cheating? Ron, please inform Mr. Seward in. Let's cheat. How are you, Mr. Seward? Doing well. How are you all? I'm Doing good. It's good to great. see you, sir. Good to see you. So... For the record, could you tell us what you did in this case specifically? Yeah, I did a full forensic analysis on Ms. Blakely's cell phone. This included searching uh, her phone for messaging apps as well as looking for any uh, dating apps, deleted messages, photos, or videos, or anything like that that might be relevant. Mr. Connellari has a concern regarding Ms. Blakely's ex. Did you find any communications between Ms. Blakely and this ex? So I did, uh, I was able to recover about 71 deleted, te or 71 deleted text messages 
uh, what? Some of those deleted messages were exchanges between Miss Blakely and an ex. Um, the most was uh, the, the most recent was ten months ago. All right. Did you find anything else on Miss Blakely's phone? And it appears that Ms. Blakely had an account uh, for a dating or hookup app mm -hmm. uh, that's where she's been in communication with other people. Um, I was able to recover really? 804 deleted emails. 107 of those emails contained explicit photos and videos and messages like this. So looking for some great sex. Those are those. Uh, no, that's not from me. No, no, it's no, not it's from to me. you. No, no, it's not from you. These are to you. Right. Okay. But it's not me sending any out. Did you find any other? Yeah, there were additional ones uh, such as this one, uh, seeking a discreet, intimate encounter ASAP. Look, he would get on these sites, make... Come on now. But these are messages you've received, correct? But I have not made any outgoing. Like, okay. I have not been chatting with these people. But these are from websites that you were on because I ain't that's been the... on no websites. Oh, but it says to you. It doesn't say to somebody else. It's that's from my email. To right. Your email. Yes, to my email. Which right. We've had this. Let me just point blank ask you this: You're denying that you have had contact or tried to contact anyone on the on these sites, and have not responded to them. Is that your testimony? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Well, to further investigate this matter, the court ordered a polygraph examination of Ms. Blakely, and we have those results. Ron, would you please escort our private investigator and polygraph examiner, Michael Williams, into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Williams, you asked Ms. Blakely... Did the handprints Mr. Candelaria saw on your inner thigh come from having physical, sexual contact with a man other than Mr. Candelaria? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, bet. You, a <laughs> you asked Miss Blakely, since the start of your relationship, other than the two times Mr. Candelaria knows about, have you had physical sexual contact with any other man other than Mr. Candelaria? What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? On this question, there was no significant physiological responses that I could determine, which indicated to me she was being truthful. Thank you very much. All right, Ms. Blakely, you look relieved yet angry. Mad, yes. Yes, tell me about that. Because he has treated me like crap. The way I treated her was wrong, I mean, and I'm sorry. I really do apologize from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I love you. I want to marry you. Oh. Will you marry me? Yes. Will you be my wife? Yes. Do I have to get out? <laughs> I love you. I love you and will always love you and cherish every moment that you get spent with me. Will you be my wife? Yes. All right. <laughs> Ms. Evans, you believed that you had met the perfect Southern gentleman and were considering marriage, but now all of that is in question. Would you share with the court what is at stake today? Yes, Your Honor. What's at stake today is my relationship. I've been in this relationship and... I'm just not sure about some things. So what I'm looking for is a marriage and I'm looking for commitment. And I'm not willing to waste my time. So I'm here today to get answers and that's what I would like. All right. You want to know, is this the one? That's correct. I want to make sure. And if he's the one, you ready to do this thing? That's right. All right. And you're All not right. sure he's the one because you think what? That he could be cheating on me, Your Honor. 
Okay. Mr. Jones. Yes, sir. She says she thinks you might be the one. Yes, sir. But she needs to find out if you're cheating on her. <laughs> she is the one? Yes, ma'am. I believe she is. Is right. she the only one? She's the only one. All right. And are you the one? Yes, sir. I am the one. You're the one? Yes, sir. And she's your one and only? She's my one and only. Okay. Well, if you thought he was a Southern gentleman, what did he do to make you think that when you met him? When I first met Dale, we were at a barbecue. So, we were at, like, a family gathering or whatever with some mutual friends. And so, I seen Dale come in, but I didn't know it was him at that time. Uh-huh. So, when I seen him, I said, ooh, who is that? He is fine. But... You see how she did that? I mean, uh-huh. look, not, not just the neck, the whole body moved. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that? Look, look, fine. look. Right, so, when we did finally hook up, they introduced us or whatever, and from that moment, we've been inseparable. Um, we dated for about two months, and then we moved in together. Okay. Or whatever. So, that's how quick it was. Like, I... I was infatuated by him. She was like, ooh, look at that. And then that was the one. They were trying to... I know that was like, what? No, it wasn't just, ooh, look at that. It was, ooh, look at that. You gotta get the shoulders into it. Come on, do it with it. Come on. Get the <laughs> shoulders with it. Come on, Yeah, yeah. I mean, she did the shoulders like, ooh, look at that. I... You... Yeah. You are very taken with that part. It is. Because it reminds me of... I don't know. <laughs> what does but that remind you of? My memory of when we first met was you looked at me and you were like, ooh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you saying that? Now, it, wait, it, wait, it's wait, been wait. a number of years. Maybe uh-uh. my memory's a little fuzzy. Maybe it's a little colored. <laughs> but in my mind, the way I see it, the way I remember it, that's was, what I did when I saw you. Yeah, it was like, Ooh, did you see that? me do that, or did I tell you that? In my mind, <laughs> in my mind, <laughs> look. That, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, you had a cute thing working, but I don't know if it was all the shoulders into it or not. I just... I'm not sure about that. I'm just not sure about that. We, uh, agree to disagree. Okay. That's where we are. All that's right, where Mr. We are. Jones. Yes, sir. When you first saw Miss Evans, did you... Ooh, look at that. Did you do that? Yes, sir. Well, when I first met her, it was like, this too... this too perfect. You know? Uh-huh. And it was just like, everything was clicking, and like, we were laughing, we were getting along. And then the actual sexual part came about, and man. (laughs) Boom. (laughs) All right. All right. Woo! Wait a minute, I just got a a sweat on, wouldn't it? Wait. (laughs) I was ready to propose that night. You were, oh. See? All right, Miss Evans. I was ready. I feel like I was (laughs) ready. See, that, that look on his face when he went, Boy, it was wild. I mean, that's that's the equivalent of the shoulder thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're the shoulder thing. A little thing. bit more than the shoulder there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. I, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> yes, sir. So you got this perfect relationship. Everything's going fine, uh, but then things weren't going fine. What was the first red flag that you saw? One night we were cooking, and Dale was in the kitchen, and I was in the living room. Okay. And so the phone is going off. Just, just beeping and beeping and beeping. So I'm really not paying no attention or whatever because I'm out of Your phone or his phone? His, Dale's phone. His phone. Okay. Okay. And something's like, look at the phone. You know how women intuition goes? Yeah, oh, yeah. So I look at the phone and once I start scrolling down, I start seeing text messages. And so one was like, I can't wait to see you tonight. Then I scroll down a little bit further and I see a nude picture in the phone. So I'm like, really? So at this point, I'm off the couch, I'm in the kitchen and I'm in Dale's face. And I'm like, what is this and what is going on? And you submitted the text and the photos to the court, correct? Yes, I did submit it to the court. Okay, this is your recollection of what you saw. Yes, that's correct. All right, and then you scroll a little bit on the phone and you find the pictures. Yes. All right. Mr. Jones, why are you getting naked photos? Well, well, the naked photo came from Facebook. Um, a, a girl, she do, she take twerk videos and she take pictures. If you like the picture or you comment on the picture, she send pictures to your inbox. Oh, it sounds like a block needs to be put on. But anyway, I was entertaining the Facebook and entertaining the pictures. I saved the picture from my phone and sent it to my homeboy phone to show him because we had the same girl. What? We, we, we ended up getting a picture of the same girl. So I sent the picture to him to show him I had a girl, too, in my phone, too. You know, she sent me a picture, too. Okay, so this woman that you have a picture of who sent you these inappropriate pictures... Yes. She twerks online for folk? Yes, ma'am. 
<laughs> so it's not, you're saying she doesn't just twerk for you, she twerks no, for she anybody twerk who for shows up. Whoever okay. like the picture, she twerk. She and twerking. So, and so, she and, she, and she twerk for you, she twerk for your friends. Yeah, she twerking for everybody. She'll twerk, she'll twerk for you too, Yana, if you, you know. <laughs> Well, she ain't twerking for me no if, more. If either. there's gonna be any twerking he sees, it's gonna be me twerking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's why y'all Oh, wait. Bet. Bet. He's like, bet. Bet. <laughs> drop it like it's hot. Uh, okay. <laughs> and pick it back up again. All right, Mr. Keller. But All at right. The the, at the end of the day, it, it was a move that I, I, don't, I don't plan on making again. All right. Have you found anything else to make those sirens go off? Yes, I have, Your Honor. Now, me and Dale, we share a car. I reach down on the floor and I find a box of condoms oh. on my floor in the car. Now, not only do I find a box of condoms, it's a box of condoms, the, co the condom box is open and it's a condom missing. Oh. So, yeah, needless to say, that's a big siren and a big red flag. Do you all use condoms? No, we don't use okay. condoms at Mr. All. Jones. Woo, 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 woo. That's, that's the big siren going off right yeah, there. Yeah, that's a big siren, but it's, it's a couple of explanations for that. Yeah, I can of... think of a couple of explanations <laughs> and so can Miss Evans. That's right. That's why you're standing right there. She's got an explanation yeah. for it. Uh -huh. yes, I want to hear what your explanation is. Well, I, a few months back, I went to this AIDS awareness um, testing. They give everybody condoms. Okay. For um, protection. So uh, that day there, I got, that's where I got the condoms from that day. It was so nice of them to give you a box of open condoms. No, no. <laughs> okay, no. right. It, I mean, it was so generous of them. It wasn't even a box of condoms. I don't know, like, that's why I'm saying it could have been a couple of things, Yana, because I didn't even receive a box. I seen of a box of condoms. I received a pack of condoms. That was open. So I with never, two, and it was supposed to be I never had a box of condoms. Well, okay, I whether it was a, a box, whether it was a, a pack, pack or whatever, the, the key thing that you're kind of skipping over is one was missing. Yes, sir. And you all don't use them. So, who did you use that condom with? My nephew came and borrowed my car. He could have had the condoms in there. But doesn't that sound just like just one step above the dog ate my homework? Just, 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 a, just, just a, a step above. Yeah. But you know what? Here's the thing. If he's a young man, I presume he's a young man. Yes, ma'am. It's possible. It's possible. He likes to have but, sex in the car too, Yana. So that's another reason that makes me. Wait, well, wait. Well, and you know this how personally? Do you know that? Yes, I do know this personally. Okay. Oh. oh yeah. So the fact that you yeah. found condoms in your car, I mean, that immediately made your sirens go off again. That's that... correct. Sirens. Woo, 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 woo. Uh huh. Big yeah. sirens going off. Mm hmm. I mean, it's a lot of maybes, a lot of problems. I mean, there's no real direct explanation. I understand. But my question, I want to go and find out what else you've tried to do as a private investigator to see if he's cheating. So, this particular night, Dale was supposed to be working. Okay. And I drove by Dale's job. And when I drove by Dale's job, of course, I didn't see the car. The car's not there. So, I had been calling and calling and calling. So about an hour later, I get a phone call from Dale, and he's all frantic, like, oh, my God, hey, babe, I see you been calling me. Is everything okay? No, everything's not okay. Because for one, I've drove by your job, you're not there, and then for two, you're not answering the phone. So he claimed that he was at work or whatever, but I'm not sure. Just another lame excuse to me, because when I looked for myself, he wasn't there. Oh, you submitted a picture. Yes, and... I did, Your Honor. Okay, there what are we like... looking at? Okay, what we're looking at is the parking lot of his job, the circle right there in the middle. That's where the car should have been parked at. All right, Mr. Jones, where were you? Well, I never was completely honest about her, to her about where my car was at the time, but my nephew had my car. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look. <laughs> nope, it doesn't say you were born last night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, why would you be untruthful if your family... Because I was really sorry to cut y'all, ma'am. I was really pretty much tired of going through the trust issues and the 
questioning every other day about what I'm doing, what's this, what's that, what's this. So I was at, at that point, I was kind of fed up with the explaining. And the, so I was like, just think what you want to think. I'm, I'm tired. I mean. OK, so she confronts you about your car not being at the job. Yeah. What do you say in response? That your nephew had the car? I didn't say nothing at that time. You mean okay. now? No, no. What did you tell her at the time? Nothing. I was just, I just hung up the phone. I was tired of dealing with the, the trust issues. Like, you don't came to my job, really? So the first time you're hearing about his nephew had the car is today? Yes. And so is that another sign for yeah, you? That Th is another sign for me. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. I want to know what's really going on. I really do love Dale, but I just really want to know what's going on. So, Mr. Jones, you're sticking with your story that this is all a misunderstanding. Yes, sir. A series of misunderstandings and just unfortunate I, coincidences. I, you know, I, I probably won't even say a misunderstanding. I would say more of just a, a distrust issue. I mean, it's like blown out of proportion more than what <laughs> it is today. So do you think this is something that she just wants to see these things so she's seeing them? I think so. That's what I you think? I think it's like something that's ongoing. That my I'm, time I'm is valuable and I don't have time to waste my time. Like my time is really valuable something. and I don't have time to waste my time. Okay. I'm looking for marriage. <laughs> I want to be married. I want a family. That's what I want. Well, Mr. Cutler, we're at the point we're gonna find out is he a Southern gentleman or a Southern cheater? <laughs> we have done a full investigation. At this time, the court would like to call forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf and licensed certified polygraph examiner Dave Lawrence to determine is he cheating? <laughs> So, Mr. Wolf, you performed a forensic voice analysis on Mr. Jones. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And Mr. Lawrence, you completed a polygraph examination of Mr. Jones. Is that correct? That's correct, ma'am. All right. Mr. Wolf, let's take a look at the first question you asked. Yes, ma'am. Since the beginning of your relationship with Ms. Evans, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than her? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that he was being deceptive, Your Honor. Mr. Lawrence, you asked the identical question. Yes, ma'am. What was his response? He said no. What did the polygraph exam determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. Mr. Jones, you can't blame this one on the nephew. <laughs> Who were you with and why? I haven't been with nobody. All right. It's gonna be that party, Mr. Cutler. Mr. Wolf, let's take a look at the second question that was asked of Mr. Jones. Were the condoms Miss Evans found in your car used by you for sexual intercourse with another woman? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that he was being deceptive, Your Honor. Mm. And Mr. Lawrence, you asked the identical question, correct? Yes, correct. What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. Mr. Jones, it's time to come clean. Who were you with and why? I mean, the only person I can think of is my ex. All right. You, you have been with your ex since you've been in the relationship with Miss Evans. Yes. More than once? Yes. Okay. Now, Miss Evans, you need to give him the truth about where this relationship is going. <clears throat> Well, Dale, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I want to continue this right now. Unless you can show something different, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs>